Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 69-plate Volkswagen Transporter Shuttle. This is the T32 model, meaning it's got a 3.2-ton gross vehicle weight. This is finished in the fantastic colour, which is a metallic starlight blue. This one has got the 2-litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine, producing 102 PS, roughly 102 brake horsepower. This is the short wheelbase S model, which is the, the spec. Uh, eight-seater and what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around I'll show you the spec that you get on a transporter shuttle of this age We'll also talk you through the bits which have really tastefully been modified on this particular example before it came into us And we'll also have a look at things like the condition in detail and also the service history seeing as it is currently available for sale At the time of recording first thing to note. There is no VAT on this particular example um, Previous owner not VAT registered so the VAT does not uh, pass on on this occasion so perfect for sort of private or family use they're really really popular for that purpose looking here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one has got a glazed tailgate so a tailgate is one door which opens up like so and glazed of course meaning it has got the rear window the first bit to note then which has been added here is a lovely rear spoiler and that just ties in very very nicely with the rest of the modifications and I think that gives it a really nice clean look along the side of the vehicle we can also see here then that we've got color coded uh, rear bumper we've got rear parking sensors and they've also added a nice um, rear bumper protector on top of there as well because of course such a high traffic area in and out of the back nice to keep that looking very nice also got which I always like to see a nice set of mud flaps on here as well which does make a nice difference keeps the vehicle nice and clean in terms of condition i mean you will see as we go around this vehicle and we are very critical in terms of condition on these vehicles so i will point out anything which i can see this vehicle is in absolutely stunning order throughout one of the cleanest shuttles i think i've come across actually if we open up the rear door then we can start to have a look inside the back of the vehicle and this is the sort of things i want to show which just maybe don't um, don't usually convey on uh, pictures and that is just how clean the back of those seats are it's so common to see these sorry if the camera's not focusing there uh, it's so common to see these with scuffs and maybe even hold and things like that this uh, sort of trim along the side here as well it's absolutely in you know i don't like to use the word immaculate but it really is in absolutely stunning condition they put this little mat in the back of there as well just again just goes to show the the sort of way that they've looked after it absolutely fantastic condition we've got the nice soft touch flooring in the back plenty of tie down points as well if you want to um you know tie your cargo down there in the back this um hatch here um this is where you'll find the the motor and things for the rear ventilation and that's one of the lovely things with the vw shuttle uh, as opposed to a combi it is exceptionally windy here today so sorry about uh, sorry about that um but uh but yeah, that's where you'll, yeah, sorry, that's one of the lovely things with the shuttle is I say you do get things like a proper headlining in the rear of the vehicle. You do get rear lights, rear ventilation as well, makes it much more comfortable for your passengers. These rear seats as well, they are completely removable, so you can remove them using these tabs just here. You can also fold them down flat, so by pulling on this tab there, you can fold the back of that seat down there. Right, we'll shut the rear door then before we get blown away, but as I say, absolutely stunning condition inside the rear of the vehicle there as I say we don't often see them quite as clean as that moving then down the side of the vehicle and this is where we can start to have a look I say in the sort of reflections these sort of dynamic angles again the sorts of um, angles which we can't really convey on photographs most of the time but it is absolutely as straight as you like as they looking in those reflections down the side looking very very nice indeed now then if we look at the wheels here we've got a lovely set of uh, 19 inch i believe these are yes 19 inch um they're like a satin black finish to them uh, uh, alloy wheel very very smart indeed uh, they've got a 245 40 profile tire on them as well um so the, the person who's owned this previously uh, certainly known what they're doing because as i say that sort of tire uh, it's a uni royal tire as well which is a very good brand of uh, of tire uh, they've, they've known what they're doing because you won't get even when you've got a, a vehicle which is lowered like this this will stop you getting rubbing on arches and things like that so as i say very very tastefully done i really do like um, the option that they've done there they've also as well gone ahead and had the calipers painted in blue as well but lovely condition throughout of the wheels and as they while we're down here as well we can just see again how clean and tidy this is down the side of the vehicle i'm just trying to see if there's 
any little chips. There's the tiniest little touch in just there above my finger. But really, there's not a lot I can fault that on. If we open up the passenger side side loading door, then we can start to have a look inside the rear of the vehicle. And this is where we can, I say, have a look where the passengers are going to be seated. So the second row of seats here is three individual seats. Now you can operate these individually. So the first thing to note, you've got this little handle on the back here. Give that a pull. That gives you access into the rear. So to, into those rear seats. And again, absolutely stunning condition in the back of here. It really is, you know, you would not know that this has ever really been used. In the rear of the vehicle then, as I say, right, even right back here, we've got speakers in the back. We've also got blinds on the windows as well. So nice sun blinds there. Uh, and again, lovely headlining throughout the vehicle. And in the back, you've got the rear ventilation and some lights in there as well. It gives it much more of a car-like feel. But as I say, having a look at the floor, it is just in exceptional order. Nice little 12 volt socket tucked away down there as well. These seats do offer lots of versatility. I mentioned the rear row of seats there. You can fold those down and remove them. Uh, the, this middle row of seats actually offers uh, probably a level again above that in terms of versatility. So you've got Isofix compatibility on all three of those seats, uh, which is very, very nice indeed. You can fold these seats down flat as well using this handle just here. You can do that on each of them. And I say you can individually remove all of those seats as well. So there's lots of options. You can go right the way from a two seater, three, four, five, all the way up to an eight seater if you want to. And again, just looking in the rear here, how clean these sort of door cards are, the floor, the plastics, back of the seats. I say it's hard to sort of, you know, stress how, um, how unusual it is to find one as clean as this looking at the front then a little bit more a little bit uh, sort of as a more options here so you can actually alter temperature and fan speed on this center part just here as well for your rear passengers if we open up the passenger door then we can start to have a look in the front of the vehicle now we have got a lovely service history with this vehicle so i'd like to show you that so that's by way of the service history uh, certificate here uh, from Volkswagen. So you can see the most recent service was done on the um, 23rd of November, 22. And you can see there that that included the pollen filter, the fuel filter and the air filter. And that was done with a Volkswagen dealer there in Bristol. Previous to that, you can see then that we had one done on the, or we didn't, but it was done on the 8th of December at 9,000 miles. I say this one was done at 14,500 miles and the PDI there uh, in the Swansea van center. So I say lovely to, lovely to see that it has got a really comprehensive um, uh, Volkswagen service history with it. Uh, you can see that we have got the full uh, book pack, which includes of course the manual and things like that with the vehicle as well. You can turn the passenger airbag off on this side, but then in terms of condition here in the front, the theme very much continues. I say looking at the floor here, we've got the nice thick rubber overmat, proper VW overmat there. Looking at the seats in the front, absolutely Stunning condition here. You've got uh, adjustable armrests on the front two seats So you can really get in a lovely seat in position because you've got the single seat as well You've got height adjustability here. So lots of as I say movement there for the passenger to get in a nice position USB point just here of course glove box plenty of storage and a nice cup holder on top there We'll come around to more of the spec as we go on to the uh, onto the driver's side, but as again just step door card is absolutely fantastic condition we, had, we did have a surprise when this one turned up of just how nice it is another nice uh, thing that the previous owner has done is they've had the uh, the rear glass tinted which i think on this color and certainly for your passengers in the back gives it a really really nice look now i did mention that the vehicle has been lowered uh, now it hasn't just been lowered but they've actually done it on kw uh, coilovers which uh, not only gives you a level of adjustability but it also gives you a fantastic ride as well. So even though it gives you this amazing stance and look to the vehicle, but when you're driving it, it gives you proper dampening as well, which you wouldn't get on just normal lowering springs. Looking around to the front of the vehicle then, this is again where we can start to have a look for any stone chips. You're gonna find the odd tiny little stone chip here to the bonnet, of course, like you would on any used vehicle, tiny, tiny little stone, you know, the odd one here or there. Looking at down towards the lower part then, let's say we've got a nice color coded front bumper on this vehicle. This has been color coded. This would usually be in the, in the gray plastic. So this nice lower grill there, that's been done in the, uh, in the color coding as well. And we've got front parking sensors. There's a nice little satin black 
uh, front lower lip spoiler there as well which I think does set it off very very nicely and finally then on the outside of the vehicle looking down the driver's side of the vehicle here and I'm just trying to see if there's anything which I can particularly point out to you as I hopefully the camera is sort of doing this justice but looking very very clean indeed the mirror cap absolutely spot on you have got twin side loading doors so you can access the rear seats from both sides and we'll get a lot of reflections here because the sun is behind me but hopefully that just shows you the condition again of the step and even from this angle you can gain access into the rear quite easily from both sides of the vehicle if we open up the driver's door then we can start to have a look inside the front and again just having a look at the step there lovely condition for this age nice again over mat underneath the floor all spot on on top of the driver's door then we have electric windows electric heated mirrors on top of here we can see that we've got two full remote keys with the vehicle eight uh, sorry 16,186 miles so fantastic uh, low miles on this example on the s you don't get a, a multifunctional leather steering wheel you just get the um just the standard steering wheel but this does give uh, slightly thinner i feel uh, that's more sort of to my uh, preference I like a steering wheel to be nice and thin uh, I think that feels really really nice in the hand but as I say you don't get the sort of controls on there that you would on maybe a higher spec model if we look at the uh, driver's seat then again twin adjustable armrests you can adjust those using this little wheel under there so you can get that to your desired height same with the whole height adjustment there of the entire seat if we jump inside then we can have a look at a bit more of the spec so as i mentioned five speed manual gearbox to go along that 102 uh, ps engine if we look at the screen here in the middle you can see here that we have got dab radio on here of course you can connect your phone to this via bluetooth as well and if you put the vehicle into reverse you can see you've got your front and rear parking sensor display just there you can also um have your inputs by AUX or SD card slot as well if you want. You've got air conditioning here and this controls your um, some of your rear ventilation as well. 12 volt socket up on top there, another 12 volt underneath and a USB as I mentioned a bit earlier on the left hand side. So just to summarize this vehicle then, it is a 2019 on a 69 plate Starlight Blue Metallic Volkswagen Transporter Shuttle as the T32 uh, model is the S with a 2 litre TDI Euro 6 engine so you can take this into the ultra low emission zone areas or clean zone areas and it fully complies with the Euro 6 regulation absolutely stunning condition throughout some really nice tasteful bits which have been added here so we've got the lovely 19 inch alloys lowered on KW coilovers we've got uh, you know mud flaps rear spoiler there's wind deflectors on the front windows color coded lower uh, grill just there, lower lip spoiler, uh, rear spoiler, not sure if I remembered that, uh, mentioned that in the rear bumper protector, and of course the uh, tinted windows in the back. Fantastic Volkswagen uh, service history, brilliant low miles, and as I say, condition-wise it is as clean as you would ever find one, I really, I really do believe that. If you'd like to inquire on this vehicle or see the full advert of it, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where you'll find the price, the description and the photography of this vehicle. We can welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. Remember that we can uh, deliver our vehicles nationwide. We can also arrange finance at very competitive uh, prices. And we can also uh, arrange part exchange on cars or vans. Thank you very much for watching.